Prince Harry could be back in court as early as January, testifying in a case which is guaranteed to make global headlines. Inside the High Court in London this morning, his barrister said the Duke of Sussex is one of two claimants whose claims are still live against the publishers of the Sun newspaper over allegations of unlawful information gathering. And this is a huge bombshell because in July there were 41 claims against the newspaper groups, but now it's just two suggesting Prince Harry will stop at literally nothing to have another day in court despite the financial costs. He truly is at war with the British tabloids. So who are the two claimants? Well, Prince Harry, obviously, and former Labour deputy leader Tom Watson. Both cases are expected to go to trial in January of 2025, in just two months' time, actually. And Harry could end up giving evidence physically in the courtroom again, like he did during his separate case against Mirror Group newspapers. Prince Harry was the first senior British royal to give evidence in court in over 130 years when he testified in June 2023. Meanwhile, newsgroup newspapers previously denied unlawful activity took place at the Sun newspaper. Ahead of the trial, Harry's and newsgroup newspaper lawyers have been asking a judge to rule on preliminary issues. This includes whether Harry can be given access to relevant emails sent between five email accounts from newsgroup newspaper employees and five employees of the royal household between January 2013 and September 2019, which Harry's lawyer, David Sherborne, said would be highly relevant to his case. In written submissions, the barrister said that the newsgroup newspaper employees, including Rebecca Brooks, the chief executive of News UK from September 2015, Robert Thompson, the chief exec of News Corp from 2013, and Mike Darcy, the chief executive of News UK until September 2015. The royal household employees are those involved in royal communications and the private secretaries to Her Late Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Harry's lawyer said emails between newsgroup newspapers and the palace would be highly relevant in terms of providing the full picture, not only as to what Prince Harry actually knew, but also as to the position in relation to, and I quote, constructive knowledge based on what the palace was being told by newsgroup newspapers. Now, Anthony Hudson KC for Newsgroup Newspapers said in written submissions that the bids to see the emails was opposed. He said the documents sought are not relevant to the pleaded issues in the Duke of Sussex's case and are not necessary to ensure a fair trial will take place and are not likely to make a real difference in the prospects of settlement of the game. And moreover, the proposed searches would be disproportionate and would not save costs. The trial in January is expected to last between six and eight weeks, and we're expecting a further hearing to be held in December. Now, the judge overseeing the case, Mr Justice Fancourt, branded Harry's case as a campaign between two obdurate but well-resourced armies. He said today, It is disappointing to me that the parties have been unable to progress things in the way that the court would expect. He continued, It is unsatisfactory that so little progress has been made, there needs to be further work done on both sides. Many other high-profile figures have settled their claims in recent years, including the actor Hugh Grant, actress Sienna Miller and ex-footballer Paul Gascoigne, comic Catherine Tate and the Spice Girl Mel C. At a hearing in April, the High Court in London heard that actor Hugh Grant had settled his case against newsgroup newspapers because of a risk of a £10 million legal bill if his case went to trial. Even Prince Harry's brother William, court documents have revealed that he has settled out of court with newsgroup newspapers, and it appears this revelation went down particularly badly with the royal household. You see, the Duke of Sussex has described how his determination to fight the tabloids was a central piece in destroying his relationship with his family, with the rift in part due to his mission. Harry said he wished his family had joined together with him in his campaign in the wake of the phone hacking scandal. And he gave an interview to ITV for its Tabloids on Trial documentary back in July. The Duke has faced really a strange relationship with his father, the King, in recent years and an ongoing rift with his brother, the Prince of Wales, which worsened post-Mexit and after his Netflix documentary and, of course, his bombshell memoir, Spare. It's understood Harry and William are not currently on speaking terms. 
Last year, Harry alleged in a high court claim that William reached assessments with newsgroup newspapers for a huge sum of money over hacking claims in 2020. The Duke claimed he could not bring his own claim sooner because of a secret agreement between the Royal Institution and senior newsgroup newspaper executives and that his bid for an apology from media mogul Rupert Murdoch was blocked by King Charles' staff. So what are Prince Harry's chances against newsgroup newspapers? Well, it's quite difficult to say, really, because let's take a look at the separate claim he had against the publisher of the Daily Mirror and Sunday Mirror and Sunday People. The Duke of Sussex sued Mirror Group newspapers for damages, claiming journalists at its publications were linked to methods including phone hacking, so-called blagging, gaining information by deception, and the use of private investigators for unlawful activities. In December last year... Mr Justice Fancourt, who was the judge, ruled that phone hacking became widespread and habitual at Mirror Group newspaper titles in the late 1990s and that Harry's phone was hacked to a modest extent by Mirror Group, awarding him £140,600 in damages. A trial found that 15 articles were the result of unlawful information gathering and Mirror Group newspapers and Harry also settled the remainder of his claim in February with a substantial additional sum by way of damages and Harry's legal costs. The Duke told ITV the judge's ruling was a monumental victory. Mirror Group newspaper said in response to the programme that we welcomed the judgment in December 2023 that gave the business the necessary clarity to move forward from events that took place many years ago. Where historical wrongdoing took place, we apologise unreservedly, have taken full responsibility and paid compensation. Prince Harry has also a separate claim against Associated Newspapers Limited, which is the publisher of the Daily Mail, over alleged unlawful information gathering. The publisher has firmly denied the allegations. The legal claims in that case are in the preliminary stages. So, newspaper publishers and the palace may want all this noisy litigation to go away, but Prince Harry is clearly very determined for vindication and to hold powerful people, he believes, responsible. Harry's in fighting mode and is unlikely to back down anytime soon. I'm Cameron Walker. Don't forget to subscribe to the GBN Royal Channel. I used to have to use the razor that my ex-girlfriend used to shave her legs. It scratched me and it made me feel weird. But fear not, because Manscaped is back with a game changer. This isn't just any old shaver. We're talking about the Chairman Pro Electric Foil Shaver with two interchangeable skin-safe blade heads. One for that baby smooth look and another when you want to keep it a bit rugged. Get this, it's waterproof. You can use it in the shower, by the pool or even while scuba diving if that's your thing. This beauty runs for 75 minutes on a single charge. That's enough of time to shave your face, your mate's face, and still have juice left over for touch-ups. You'll also get their Power Shave Gel for a proper wet shave experience, and a face shave soother to keep your mug looking fresh and irritation free. It's like having a barber in your bathroom, minus the awkward small talk. Click the link in the description and use the code GBN for a whopping 20% off and free shipping with the code GBN at manscaped.com. Join the 11 million blokes worldwide who trust Manscaped. Your face will thank you, and so will your wallet.